Johannesburg is the cultural and economic hub of Southern Africa. And if you want that feeling of being alive in a big city, there's only one place to be, Newtown. In the heart of Newtown is another well-known training institution, the Market Lab. Here, learners come from across the country to audition, all with one dream, to be accepted as a performing arts student. When I came for the auditions, it was, it was scary and stressing and I was very nervous and tense. Well, when I got here, I got something different. The facilitators were lively, were down to earth, were there, you know. Many of them, when they come here, they want to act. When they come here, they like get introduced to different kinds of things that at the end of the year, five of them, the least will say, no, we don't want to act anymore, but we want to dance now. Each dance for me, I've never danced before. So at first it was very hectic, you know, with so muscles and yeah, Marano, I, I can feel it when I'm coming. I can even point and do all types of things, you know, <laughs> yeah. The lab was the brainchild of the late Bunny Simon and Dr. John Carney. Um, I think with the success of the market theatre in the 1970s and 80s, uh, there was an all overwhelming attention that the theatre got. And part of the people who came through were people who were not necessarily ready for going main stage. So the lab was created as a centre that could cater for those people, help them develop, help them uh, work more on their craft and their skill. Then out of that need, two years after the lab was formed in 1991, we then had a different um, call. People wanted to study drama. However, in between apartheid laws and people not being able to afford university fees, the labs were need to develop a school that would more or less be structured in a manner that the university would function, however much more practical. I want to be an actress, I want to be an actress, but we do everything, maybe like it's acting, dance, it's text interpretation, it's everything to do with art, especially, but not visual art, it's performing art as a whole. So they bring in different people of different genres within art, within the performing arts to come teach us things, yeah. Your knee is inside, ne? not outside, but in. Okay. So the school has been going on now for about 20 years. We've had in excess of 160 graduates. And out of the school, we've had new demands over the years. We've had demands for writing programs. We've had demands for uh, director training, actor training in communities around South Africa. Monacheng Vice Mutsabi is a graduate of the laboratory and is currently working as a playwright. I think uh, for me, the, you know, the education at the lab is not only the education that you get in the class, uh, but being around the, the lab, experiencing the market theater, being able to work as an asha at the theater, watching the same play about 15, 20 times, you know, over time being uh, in, within close proximity with actors, directors, being able to have conversations with them. That's, you know, a broader sense of learning than that goes, reaches beyond the class. So being at the lab exposes you to, to all of that. <laughs> 